so I'm a big fan of Oni Plays, and if you are too, you probably already know where I'm going with this. But if you don't know, it's a Let's Play channel made by animator Chris O'Neill. Uh, uh. <laughs> 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 It is legitimately some of the funniest shit I have ever heard, and I would highly recommend it to anyone. What is that, a fucking ass crack? <laughs> no, but seriously, this game fucking sucks. I'm not even a fan of any other Let's Plays, so that should say a lot. It's not even just Chris that makes the show so good. His friends he has on, like Cory and Tomar, really add a lot to it. The most notable of them being Zach Hadel, creator of Smiling Friends. I will fucking kill the whole. I will fucking smash this mouse in my house with a <laughs> Him and Chris have made some of the most iconic jokes in the show. There's a lot of running gags that involve stuff like Family Guy and The Simpsons. Oh, it's my mother! <laughs> <laughs> Fat man! Oh. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, you scared me! Shut up, Good Brian. boy, good, good dog, good boy! Good boy. <gasps> protect, protect your family from the baby! Protect your family <laughs> from the baby! <laughs> but the ones that come up the most are probably about the channel awesome guys. Give me a fucking drink! Good boy! Mainly the nostalgia critic and Linkara. It's sometimes hard to believe that the Channel Awesome guys were once titans on not just YouTube, but the internet itself. A lot of people probably look back on all that old content and probably think it's pretty cringe at this point. I was never really a big fan of the Nostalgia Critic, but whenever I kind of look back on some of his old content, I don't know. Some of it's actually pretty fucking funny. I'm full of Christmas semen. The internet's just changed a lot, so I guess just looking back on that old stuff, it's really quaint by today's standards, and I guess it's kind of what makes it so ripe to make fun of. Mad. Jerk. Umbrella! That should answer it for you. <laughs> I imagine most people who've been on the internet for like the last 10 years at least know who the Nostalgia Critic is, but I wouldn't be surprised if most people watching this have like never heard of Lenkara. I had no clue who he was until I saw him in that cringy VoidCon video that Quentin Reviews made. I need to warn you, Quentin! Dark forces are gathering right now in order to- Back when Channel Awesome and that guy with the glasses was at their peak, they had like a ton of collaborators. It was just a lot of people that did different types of reviews, like the Spoony one and Angry Joe. Betrayal! What? Betrayal! Betrayed me! Most reviews centered around, like, video games, movies, TV shows, stuff like that. Mankara wanted to review comic books, so he made his show atop the fourth wall, which has the most badass intro ever. <laughs> Chris O'Neill does a really good impression of both the Nostalgia Critic and Linkara. Uh, that's Linkara getting into an argument with his girlfriend over- She's like, you need to get rid of those worms, Linkara. <laughs> but the worms are part of me, my love. I've been cultivating them for 45 years. Darling, I'll tell you what I told my last 30 exes. As it comes down to you and the worms, I pick the worms every time. <laughs> every fucking time, you whore. That paired with Zach's impression of Donald Trump leads to one of the funniest bits in Oni Play's history. Watch out, dude. I have to say, I loved Lee Cara, right? I was watching... <laughs> I was watching various places, and I saw Lee Cara, the great Lee Cara. He did... I tapped the fourth wall, and he talked about the, the famous Power Rangers Red, right? He said, it'll be out when it's out. And we like that. It'll be out when it's out. But great work <laughs> ethic. It was so good when Iron Liz was there, the great Iron Liz, right? It's okay. Cancel of that. Wait, that's not enough of that. There needs to be more. Okay. That's when he stands up and he says, Don't you talk about me, you son of a bitch! Who said that? What is that? It's what me, is that? the Lightbringer! Look, there he is! There he is! Get him, get him out of here! Get him the hell out of here! Then cuts to the audience beating the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking ripping his jacket off. <laughs> Throw him out in the cold! Don't bring it! Don't give him his jacket! Don't give him <laughs> Meanwhile, Doug Walker's just looking on going, <laughs> He's going, build that wall! <laughs> this is just one joke about these guys. There's a whole hour and a half compilation devoted to just the jokes they've made about them. And with how popular this is, you know that they have to at least be aware of it. About a year ago, Doug Walker was on the channel Double Toasted Interviews, and he was actually asked about the Oni Plays impressions. You've been a point of criticism, anywhere from parody to actual criticism. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a, 
someone that oh, oh, you people might know this person Oni plays you know you people have given you some slight ribbing you know people have teased you a little bit mocked you in a fun way do doug walker yelling it's just... <laughs> <laughs> and you and you've always had a good sense of humor about it's just like when i really scream loud i mean it really does sound like that <laughs> and so you 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 like we see right now you've had uh you have a good sense of uh, uh, per, uh of sense of humor about it man you know you're oh, well, and how hypocritical would it be if i'm like look at this person who doesn't appreciate my art when i literally make a living mocking people's art like how yeah, hypocritical yeah. would that be so it's real obvious that doug's a good sport about all this he's self-aware that maybe his past actions were seen as really goofy chris even acknowledges it down in the comment section it's always good to see somebody be a good sport about being poked fun at but wait, how does Linkara feel about all this? Obviously. Chocolate Gamer, my question was, uh, have you sent the one play or, or one play. play fan game? Yeah, the, uh, no, because I have zero desire to ever think about or talk about Oni plays. I don't even know what that is. They are a YouTuber who is the one who's re who's pop who who makes who constantly mocks me, makes fun of me, and and apparently they do an impression of me that is that, that, that everyone loves, that everyone wants to point out, wow, his impression of you is so accurate. And he's the one who popularized people calling me the Lightbringer, based off of my crappy old webcomic. So, wow. screw him. Oh no, he wasn't happy at all. To give a little more context as to why he's so upset, Linkara, being a fan of comic books, once made his own comic book called The Lightbringer. This was written long before he became the famous Linkara that we know him as today. Back then, he was just regular old Lewis Lovehog. I'm not kidding, that's his actual fucking name. I don't want to go too in-depth on the comic, but it's pretty terrible to say the least. It's very deviant art level artwork, and the writing isn't much better. He illustrated most of the series himself for a while before handing it off to another artist, and while the quality did get better, it didn't really help the writing at all. Eventually he just abandoned the project, and considering there's like no mention of it on his IMDB, he probably would prefer it just went away forever. He probably considered the fact that since he criticizes comic books all the time, that it would look really bad if this old terrible comic book he made came back to haunt him. Unfortunately, this is the internet, and nobody ever forgets anything. And I guess he just hates that Chris O'Neill brought this whole thing back to the public's attention. But this just makes him a hypocrite. The dude literally made his entire career making fun of other people's comic books, and now he's upset that somebody's calling him the Lightbringer. Chris even points this out on one of his episodes of Slightly Artistic. <laughs> I think you should draw Linkara, okay? I'll, okay, I'll start, but I'm not very good at, like, caricatures. He, you've made Linkara very, very famous. Everyone <laughs> 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 that thinks about you, you two guys, you're peas in a pod. Okay, I'll try. I just want to say one little thing. I love Linkara, and I don't care if he hates me. I don't I care. I really like Linkara. I will say one thing. I think it's kind of yes. hypocritical for him to get angry of us, like, doing impressions of him when his entire fucking career is making fun of other shit. The joke itself wasn't even mean-spirited. It just put Linkara in this totally bizarre situation. If he really wanted to, there's plenty more embarrassing things to bring up about Linkara. There was a really embarrassing situation involving his search history on Rule 34, and I don't even think I can really talk about it on YouTube, so look it up at your own risk. Gay Dead Muppet Gangbang. Chris has continued to use Linkara in a bunch of his bits, and while some may see that as petty, he still hasn't been mean-spirited about it. He's never directly made fun of Linkara about anything. It's always just putting him in these very silly situations. I say, don't be, don't be silly, my darling. Let's, let's watch Power Rangers. <laughs> don't be silly, my darling. <laughs> and let's, now let's sit down and watch the Power Rangers. I love you, my baby. And this is why I compare him to the Nostalgia Critic. Doug has made plenty of cringe content in his time. Bad reviews, bad movies, bad shows. He had to deal with the infamous Channel Awesome document. But he doesn't throw a tantrum anytime anybody brings any of that stuff up. The dude's still grinding today and making a lot of content. He's a real life Andy Dufresne. He crawled through a river of shit just to come out the other side clean. Doing it this way, Linkara is just shooting himself in the foot and triggering the Streisand effect. If he doesn't want to be called the Lightbringer, then chastising Chris for doing it is just going to have everybody look into what the Lightbringer is in the first place. 
His best bet would have been to just run with the joke, acknowledge the fact that he made something really terrible a long time ago, but that's in his past, and then people probably could have just moved on from it. But I guess he'd rather just take a huge hit to his credibility, so whatever. On a side note, I guess since he gave up on the project and gave all his characters up to the public domain, his ex-girlfriend, Iron Liz, is going to, like, continue his comic book. It was so good when Iron Liz was there, the great Iron Liz, right? <laughs> this was said back in 2021, though, so I don't really know, and I don't personally care. I'm probably not even going to read it anyways, I just thought it was funny. But yeah, that just about wraps up everything I had to say on that. Thanks for watching, especially to my subscribers who've been with me this long. Don't forget to check out some more of my content. Leave a comment if there's anything else that you want me to cover, but outside that, uh, I don't know. Bye.